Hello, hello. It's Rob here, Touchscape developer. Thought I'd do a, a very short video today. Um, if you maybe noticed that there was a little update uh, yesterday, um, which is actually something that I had intended to include in the previous uh, update, which if you've been following Touchscaper updates closely, uh, you'll know that that was all about MIDI controllers. And this is actually something that I kind of, I kind of forgot to include it. It was sort of done, but it, it didn't get in there. Um, so I thought I'll, I'll squeak that out because I know that um, a few folks had been in touch and mentioned that it was kind of a little little bit of, a, a, of an omission. And I shall show you what that is and then maybe share a, a tip, a touchscape, a tip, maybe not a big tip, just a, I don't know, Touchscape a micro tip, tipette, uh, mini tip, I don't know. Um, anyway, I'll show you something that might be interesting, uh, hopefully. Okay, so what was this thing that I added? Well, there were a couple of things, the usual little tweaks and fixes, which are always so dull and not worth going through um, in any great detail. Uh, one thing I did actually, before we get onto the MIDI CC stuff, is I added um, fifty-two percent shuffle option, which is mega subtle, but I think for any of you that were feeling that fifty-four percent was maybe a bit too much, and then no shuffle was just a bit too straight, uh, fifty-two percent I think just maybe um, maybe swings it enough to give it a bit of a bit of a bit of a nice bounce. Uh, let me see. Actually, I've got a drum pattern in here already, which is a kind of typical four on the floor-ish. Uh, let's have a quick listen to that. Let's bring in 52%. If you listen to the hi-hats, you can maybe hear that there's a little bit of a swing there. If I really crank it, now you can, you know, it's a bit more obvious, but I think 52% is just gives it that little bit of a, you know, might get people moving, as opposed to this, which is super stiff and straight. But maybe, you know, maybe you want that. And uh, you may have noticed that now there's no explicit offsetting, so... There is no shuffle now, so you turn them all on and off by kind of toggling. Uh, okay, so that's 52% shuffle, very exciting. Right, let's get to the um, hopefully more interesting stuff because I I coaxed you in maybe with the promise of MIDI controller stuff, so let's talk about MIDI controller stuff. Now, one of the things that, that uh, people had been mentioning was the ribbon. Um, was kind of hardwired to send MIDI CC74, which is usually filter cut off, uh, but not always. Uh, so I've got my uh, Moog Siren up here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so I'm going to connect that. Uh, we're going through the Roland Rubik's 22. I'm going to hook my Siren up to um, the ribbon and I, I've got that set up to receive on channel 11. Um, there's software you can run to configure the siren if you don't know. Uh, but that's on that's on channel 11 anyway. Or at least I hope it is. It was the last time I looked. Um, so let's go in to um, MIDI settings. I'm just going to turn horizontal vibrato off. You see, this used to be a switch. Um, let's make sure it's kind of working. Okay, but you hear that there's no, um, nothing's happening here. Here. Um, so what has changed now is you can now map that as you do with the side E controllers. Uh, you can map that to to whatever um, CC number you want. So, qu 
quickly looking at the uh, manual. The um, thing I would say about the Moog Siren, and you can maybe see the Minotaur is uh, over here as well. The MIDI implementation is fantastic. For all of their, their kind of analog synths, you can control everything uh, on the control panel and a whole lot more stuff under the hood uh, with MIDI. Um, so MIDI implementation is great. All sorts of fun you can have with the, the sidey knobs. Anyway, I digress. I said this was going to be a short video. It's, it's not going to be, is it? Uh, filter cutoff is number 19. No, 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 no. 19. Remember that? Paul Hardcastle. You probably don't remember that. Anyway, I'm sure it's on YouTube. It was a uh, very innovative uh, recording at the time. No, 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 19. Um, even a little bit political, too. Okay, digressing. Let's use CC19. So we're not using MP, send vertical motion to CC19, general purpose controller number four. Okay, let's try that. That's more like it. Actually, yes, let's put some delay on that. I've got a, a up here. I've got the Siren going through a Strymon El Capistan. Let's patch that in. Now, remember when I brought up the MIDI connections first, I disabled the horizontal vibrato. And the reason why I, I did that is um, this is where we get into the touchscape of Tippet territory. Um, I thought I'd show you something that I um, I thought was quite quite fun to do. Is I mapped one of the controllers to the LFO. So let's bring that up. Hoping you can see this. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to map this one, which is this guy down here, and I'm going to map it to the keyboard ribbon. And I'm going to assign that to, what am I going to assign that to, he said, looking at the manual. I'm going to assign that to 13. Mm -hmm. Most intriguing. And I'm going to take the default value right down and make the range real small. So you're probably thinking, oh, what is number 13? Well, all will be revealed. Let's... Um, Twiddle it. Hear that? So I'm basically um, 13 is the LFO amount going to the VCO. So it's basically almost like having a virtual mod wheel. Actually, these are quite nice chords. It makes me want to sort of do something. Um, let's bring up Animoog. Swirly pad, oh yes. Lovely. Let's quickly patch that in. MPE, main instrument. little thing I want to show you, which um, I thought was kind of fun, is obviously I could twiddle the knobs on the Siren, but this is just for the purpose of the demo, obviously, if it was a, another app running, then, then you can't twiddle the knobs without bringing the app into the foreground. But here's a little thing that I thought was quite fun. I'm going to grab that controller, which remember is our um, LFO amount on the VCOs. And uh, the reason why I put it on the bottom here is so I can 
also play the ribbon with my thumb and do this sort of thing. Bring the chords in again. I think that's kind of fun. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. So that that's basically it on the 153 update. Nothing dramatic, as I say, it was a, certainly with the, um, the ability to map your vertical motion to any CC. That was kind of an omission on my part. So oops, sorry about that. So I um, hope you enjoyed this short-ish video. Um, Working on something at the moment, shall I? No, I'm not going to mention what that is. I, when I've got something to show, I will show it, and hopefully it will be interesting. Okay, so that's it for this one. Um, hope you uh, you enjoy playing ribbon and twiddling knobs, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Okay, cheers for now. Take care. Bye-bye.